HQ shows Biden ahead by 4.7%, based on 12 polls assessing this race in the Commonwealth. All but one of these polls has shown Biden leading, with the lone exception having the two candidates tied. Virginia is one of few states, though, in which Democrats have actually outperformed their previous polling averages, albeit only by a very small margin, as the average bias is R plus 0.15. Polling overestimated Mitt Romney in 2012 and Trump in 2016, but then most recently favored Biden a little too much in 2020. Either way, though, with the adjusted margin going from Biden plus 4.7 to Biden plus 4.9, the Commonwealth of Virginia remains a lean Democrat state. Over in Texas, the second largest state in the nation with 40 electoral votes at stake, Trump leads by 8.7 percent, according to Decision Desk HQ and The Hill, based on a total of nine polls here. The Lone Star State has a historical polling error overestimating Democrats by 0.8%. That's influenced heavily by the four and a half point underestimation of Trump in 2020. 538 had Biden within 1.1 points of Trump headed into election day, only for Trump to end up winning by 5.6%. Interestingly, though, the 2012 and 2016 elections saw the Democrats overperform, which does drag down that average bias to just R plus 0.8. Again, these numbers are weighted by recency. Ultimately, Trump's 8.7-point average, lead, increases to 9.5 points with the added error, so Texas goes down as likely Republican either way. Next, we head to Pennsylvania. The Keystone State is one of 2024's top battlegrounds, 